So guys, um, I'll be using this called this um free tress hair for the wrapping, and I'll be using this for the inner hair, which I'll be wrapping on. So I chose color 144 because it looked um closer to this color. So when you're wrapping or make sure that the hair with which you are wrapping on has almost the same color as the wrapping hair. Okay, you don't want to use, for example, black while you're wrapping with gold. Okay, along the line, maybe when the client is using the hair um, or when you're using your hair, you might want to manipulate your hair. You see the, the wrapped hair starts unraveling and the black hair inside will be showing. So it's always advisable to use a color that is closer to the wrapping hair. So that even if he has to be loose some time or unravel, it, there's not going to be much impact. The one inside is not going to be that pronounced because they look alike. So that's why um, I went for color 144. You can still use color 27. Yes, it's still good. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out all these parts. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to hang them on the rope. I already prepared my rope and I chose yellow color because it's closer to, to the color I'm working on. Just for the reason I want to hang them on the rope. Two. Okay, here we have five. And now I'm just going to start wrapping up. Put this aside. You can brush if you like, but I really don't like brushing. I just use my hands to just fluff it a little, and then I'll go ahead and start wrapping. Usually, if you want more of the black hair, you can use a black color. I also have a black color, so I want um, a black tip. So I'm just going to start wrapping first with a black color. Very easy <laughs> than the way I did with the first one. I'll just pull out three strands and then fluff, fluff it a little. To wrap, you just I'll just break the little. And then I'll start wrapping, wrapping. Just wrap and go, wrap and go, pull a little, wrap, you can just put your hand a little bit for a texture, wrap and go, wrap and go, pull a little, wrap. Okay, so you can leave like this, now we go with color 2, this is color 2. Braid to secure. Always braid to secure. Like that. You can. Always make sure you secure your work by tying just pull the little and then you can put your fingers for texture not too big because we are not doing butterfly locks we are not doing butterfly locks Look at this transition. If you want more of this transition, you can always um, use another color of hair that's a brown. Uh, you can always uh, mix black and brown color 30. And uh, you roll a little bit here before you start with this um, with this ombre color. Okay. But there's a little um, transition here. 
can see here so we're just going to go ahead and we want to pick out again three strands two three two is very small three is okay fluff a little at this point you can just start from this part and roll okay we really do not need to start here but you can still start here if you want if you wish there break to secure always break to secure it start wrapping make sure you fluff it very well because it's really really slippery please start from this side like this this black here I'm going to cut out this black You can cut if you wish as long as um, it doesn't destroy the locks and as long as you end up having the texture you want okay I think it's better to cut than to have um, the wrong texture at the end of the day or the wrong color scheme the end so I'm going to show you how to add this one at the end you just need to take uh, this hair the yellow one cut out this part braid it inside and wrap wrap and tie okay to make this in okay for more texture you can have your brush you can just take your brush and just brush a little not much just a little Upward, downward, brush upward, downward, upward, downward, upward, downward, just a little, just slightly on it. See the texture, see that. <clears throat> wow. Okay, guys, so this is how you do it. So you go ahead and continue wrapping with the technique I just showed you.